and welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blank from Wild Woman Bushcraft. In part one I tell you my tips and tricks how you can make the time that you spend outdoors for an overnighter in the cold months very comfortable and warm. And in part two I will show you some more equipment and tell you some more tips and tricks how you can make the life easy um, in the middle of snow and ice. So stay tuned! When I am alone in the forest in the winter times for an overnighter I don't want to sit for several hours alone at the campfire because it is getting so soon dark and I had to move my body to stay warm. When I sit the whole time my body is getting cold very quickly. And so I always go to bed very soon um, and then my, my sleeping bag had to be very warm. So I had uh, a lot of winter sleeping bags, not a lot, a few uh, winter sleeping bags, but I will show you only one. When I show you every one of them, it, this video will be too long. So I will show you this one later. And um, one of the points that I don't want to miss when I am for a night in the nature is a um, um, sleeping pad. So sleeping good outside is very important. And um, I try to go often outside without many equipment, but I don't want to miss the the sleeping pad. So in the winter times it is very important that you know um, what the in German we call it Erwert um, is. So this is um, the isolation score of your sleeping pad. There are sleeping pads that are only for summer times and then um, sleeping pads that had more isolation for the cold months. And I had this one here, this goes till minus 11 degrees and this here is for colder temperatures. But look at yourself how the distance from the space between them both is. So when I use this one here, that is for colder temperatures and my winter sleeping bags, my um, backpack will be complete full with only those two tools. So mostly I use the sleeping pad and it is good enough for our temperatures here in Europe. And this here is luxury. This here is a feeder bag um, for your sleeping bag. So um, this is like a um, sleeping bag but is, is not going so high, it, uh, it's going to uh, my breast and you put it into your sleeping bag like an inlet and then you um, fix it with your power bank and the sleeping bag is getting warm till uh, 28 degrees so like summer times and the constructor um, said that it's important that your body don't need so much energy to get your sleeping bag warm so when you had this one, your body need no energy to um, warm up the sleeping bag and I really love this. Of course it needs a lot of space, but it is just nice to have a warm sleeping bag and you don't have to freeze inside of it. The size of the winter sleeping bag can be very different. You can be, you can have smaller ones and then you can have really really big ones and the most winter sleeping bags are too big for your backpack. So you had to find your own way, what do you really need. Um, for me coldness is not so hard to, to fight with it but there are uh, many people that um, really need really warm sleeping bags in the winter times. And the sleeping bags that I use the most times is the Gritzy Bag Ice. 
it had a comfortable temperature from minus one degree and extreme minus um, 26 degrees so it is for me absolutely okay and um, the worst thing you can make with your sleeping bag is had it the whole year into this small bags because um, I'm not sure if the English word is also loft like in German it is the filling of your sleeping bag and when you had your sleeping bag the whole year into that, those um, small bags the filling is getting so um, so small and when you use the sleeping bag then um, it can't warm your body because the filling is too small it can be pushed out again so when you don't use your sleeping bag have it into such big bags this here are included by the gritzy bag sleeping bags and so they can be so big as they are and um, when you had them in the small bags it will not work anymore so you had to buy a new one because um, there is no isolation cover no isolation filling inside it is getting for uh, because of this bag too small now i show you the sleeping bag in detail sleeping bag had some nice extra here at the head part there is some space where you can put your pillow inside if you don't have a pillow with you you can use your jacket for um, putting inside here and it it's is fixed here it cannot move away here there is an extra space for your um, mobile phone I just had to look where it is and um, I don't use it for the mobile phone I use it for my headlamp that I had the headlamp always with me and the, this one here goes with two ways I had one zipper here and one here um, down by the, the feet I like to have my feet outside in the sleeping bag because it is getting often too warm here and then the two-way zipper here is perfect and you had to check that your sleeping bag is the right size because it is nice to have some extra space in your backpack for example had your wet water filter inside I tell you in part one that it is um, it is very bad when your water filter came to uh, into freezing temperatures because then it is damaged but um, when you had some extra space you had to heat it with your body and this also needs um, a lot of energy so check that the sleeping bag had the right size for you when you check out my channel for a long time you know that i like to use in the cold months and tend to sleep in it and there are some special winter tents they called geodad tents because the um, the sticks are so fixed that it holds very much weight when the snow is falling but I don't have such special tents when I am alone outside um, I try for a few weeks now the Nordis Glofoten tent it is a one person tent very small very light white and I love to sleep in it but it is an ultralight tent and so it also means that there are only the importance point so there is not much space inside you cannot bring your um, backpack within the tent because there is not enough space and it is big enough that you can lay inside but not more so when you came with your um, body close to the tent wall it is getting very cold and this is not so nice in the cold months but um, the weight is tenuous so you can't have a tent with um, with um, better weight 
So for example, in the last winter I had this tent here. This is the Wexel Pathfinder. It is much bigger, much more weight. And when you see it direct, there is no, it is, the, the, it is easy which tent I will use. Check this out. This is so small and so lightweight and this is also lightweight but it is um, it is very higher weight as this tent. There I can put my sleeping uh, my, my backpack with inside but the weight is the important thing for me so I think I will use in the future this tent also for the winter times. Another nice gadget is such a small isolation pad. You can use it when you lay um, under your body to, for the isolation or when you want to sit at a rock or something else that is getting not so fast cold to your body. And I also love to sit a little bit away from the snow and the coldness. And I had here a small tree pot. It is very small um, to carry it and very easy to fix it. So and with this one you don't have to sit direct in the coldness. I really love these tools. It makes no difference if you are man or woman, nobody wants to have cold feet outside. And um, since this fall I had these shoes here. Um, I bought them for wet weather, for cold and wet weather when it is slippy outside. Um, I love to use them when I am um, in, at the farm, at my animals, because there it is always wet and uh, the earth is very, um, yeah, just, um, you don't want to go into this ground with normal shoes. And when I am at an easy trip, I also love these shoes because um, the, the wet weather is not important then when I wear them. And since three years I had these shoes and this here are for difficult area. When I wear this I can't fix the, the foot here inside. And with this one I can I had a very good hold inside, I can fix it perfectly and it is going much higher than normal shoes. I always had um, hike shoes, these are really good shoes, but they are not so high and this here are perfect for the winter they cost a lot they cost 400 euro but uh, i had them for three years and i love them they are just great and i can walk in deep snows in deep snow with them because they are high enough and deep snow is also a good point i had here my snowshoes i had two different snowshoes one pair that it is uh, not so expensive, it cost uh, 40 euro and this here is a very expensive snowshoe, it cost 400 euro but the difference between be between those two snowshoes is so big, it is like day and night. Um, here you can handle everything so easy and at the other one it is so hard. They are so lightweight and the other one are really had really much weight and the handling is just great with them. So when I walk into snow, in really deep snow, I love to use them. When it is wet outside or in the winter months, I love to use those gator here um, with my shoes. So it is uh, it makes the, the protect point from the shoes a little bit longer. So you put it um, some space over the shoe and it is going till under the knee and then you are protect there from wet. So when I go into the forest and there is high grass, um, I always had a wet point here. Here at the shoes it is completely dry but here under the knee I am often wet and with this one it cannot happen. I stay dry there and when you are wet it is also an important point in the winter time that you're getting much colder when you wear wet clothes. So this one are really great. 
I try to use no plastic and when there is an alternative, I use the alternative. And uh, this is also on point by the clothes. So um, the polyester clothes are plastic clothes and I love to use natural materials. So like cotton or wool and um, I had also in my winter clothes equipment some wool clothes like this jacket here I love this jacket it is more on coat it is it goes here till my legs and I had the problem with a lot of jackets that they are too short I had always here in space between the legs and the the upper body here and there is always some space where it is getting cold inside and with this one I had this problem not and I had also an wool trousers under this trousers when it is very cold I wear um, thermo um, leggings and thermo trousers and in this combination it is always warm and um, I wear for several years now Fjellreven and Sasta clothes um, for example I had I always want to have Fjellreven uh, trousers but uh, in the past I thought they are too expensive and but then I, bow, I bought the first Fjellreven trousers and I wear it now for six years and I had some cuttings in the trousers where I came with the saw too close to my to my legs but it holds it is a very good quality and uh, I had also this good quality here by Sasta um, you see I wear this clothes also in normal life not only when I'm doing bushcraft uh, I had here now on Sasta um, jacket and the PLRF and trousers and I also wear it when I um, work in the farm because um, these clothes can really hold out a lot they are really high quality and um, of course it is a little bit expensive you had to spend a lot of money for this but you can use it for many many years and um, I can be honestly I use this clothes Sasta and Fjellreven for many years now and I make always um, I had always a good feeling with it it is always a good quality and um, nothing is damaged so these are really good really good really good clothes brands we had the shoes we had the trousers we had the jacket and now there are the other open areas from the body i always look that my whole body is covered in the winter times because when something is open when there is open skin um, you lost their the body heat so I had this one here, I had two of them, they are Fjellreven hat, I had this one in grey and also one in berry, more colourful and um, this here is for warm your neck, a neck warmer. Um, it is a little bit like a bandana but it had here this longer part and this goes here direct um, from the neck into the jacket that you de have there no open space and uh, it is always a point by me that I had a neck hurt because I've got there um, cold air so and this cannot happen with this one and this here is new so when there is a snowstorm, this year is perfect. Um, I try at the last trip to sleep in it because I think it would be very warm. But um, there are so small, um, small points here with that you can breathe. But when you breathe in the coldness, it is always um, wet there, and I don't like it. And I wanted my my. Uh, face is open when I sleep. I want to breathe open with no um, cotton before my mouth. So I think for sleeping I don't want to have it 
for sleeping again but when there is a snowstorm it is uh, really great I think so so clothes you know I don't like clothes many many subscribers ask me why I don't wear clothes when I am working I don't like them because I want to have a direct contact with that that I'm using. I want to feel it directly. But in the winter times I also get cold hands so I must wear clothes. And this one here are good when you want to work something. You can, um, you can build your camp with them. Um, but better are the clothes that are like this. Here is one part and here's one part um, because there the hands are warmer inside but for working this here are better. So and then I had some different bandanas. You can wear it here like this or like this or just like this. So there are different ways to use it and I really love to have them with me um, in the spring in the fall and in the winter and this here is really ugly but it helps me a lot outside this is to cover the space here between the legs and the upper body that I don't have an open space here so the trousers end and the pullover begins and between those both are open most times on space and it is getting cold there inside and with this one it cannot happen so enough from the clothes now I had some smaller parts, some small equipment that is really great in the winter time. This was two parts with my winter equipment and with tips and tricks. And now I want to know from you what are your special tips and tricks? What is your special equipment that you use in the winter months? So if you want, write it down here in the comments and we can learn from each other this is a really great way so i had to thank you for watching i hope you liked the video and if you want click thumbs up and if you are no subscriber yet and if you want feel free to click subscribe and then you lost no video so everything of this equipment that i show you now you find here down in the video description so if you are interested in one please click here. Thank you for watching. We see us again at the next video. Have a great time. Bye bye.